Hi beautiful Charlie God, it's Jasmine and welcome back to my channel Stay Classy by Jazzy. In today's video, I'll be talking about 8 ways that you can create a productive space at your house. Hello? <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you 8 ways how I made it a productive space here in my room while I'm doing online classes. Now, I know for the circumstances that we're dealing with as college students, a lot of us are moving from in-person classes to online classes because of the coronavirus. And prayers go out to everyone with, who are being affected by this. And if you have any prayer requests, please let me know down below and I'll be happy to pray for you if you feel comfortable sharing out loud. But I know for a fact that I've never done online classes before and so I feel like it's a lot harder to be motivated and productive because I'm in my room and not a classroom. I literally walk a couple steps from my bed to my classroom, which is my desk. How am I supposed to be motivated? How am I supposed to be engaged? How will I be productive? Literally the first day, I wanted to take a nap every 20 minutes. I didn't, but I wanted to. Anyways, today's video I'm super excited because I'll be talking to you about the thing that encompasses productivity in a workspace, and this is called ergonomics. Ergonomics is the study about how people work in their environment. This goes everything from how you sit in your chair, how long you sit in your chair, your posture, how good the lighting is, if, if your work environment is quiet or loud. This is a very important thing to keep in mind because when you're comfortable in your workspace, you are reducing stress strain and potential injuries from sitting too long or maybe hurting yourself or damaging your hearing from loud spaces and the more comfortable that you are the more productive you'll be which means that you'll get more done in a short amount of time so you can rest and relax and watch netflix so without further ado let's go so number one is good lighting and this is very important one of the best ways to get lighting is through a window, so natural lighting is your best friend. But today when I filmed this, it's actually pretty cloudy, so I didn't have a ton of sunlight in my room. So in addition to the natural light, I decided to turn on my bedroom light or any light in the house because I know some people tend to do homework in their kitchen. And so that's another dose of lighting that you can get so you can be able to see better and do your work without straining your eyes. But I also like to put on my lamp too just to give it that extra nice warm glow. And typically, my favorite combination as of right now is to mix my natural lighting from my window and then lighting from my lamp and then I turn off my bedroom light to give it that nice, cozy, productive study vibe. So number two is to declutter. So as you see my box of Cheez-Its, I have tons of stuff around my desk area. I have my notebooks and my laptop open, pens, pencils, water cups. And I also have stuff from my dorm because I'm in the process of moving out officially from the semester. So I just, I'm a big fan of the phrase like a messy mind is a representation of a messy space. And so in order to kind of declutter my mind and make space for the knowledge that I am acquiring from my schoolwork, I need to clean off my desk area. So I actually decided to clean off everything from my desk and fun fact I've had this desk since I was in third grade and I am a junior almost senior in college so it's been a long time so it looks a little rough and dirty you know but it still works but um, now I'm just getting rid of the stuff that I have from my dorm room putting out into another area of my room that way it's not immediately crowding my desk area but now this is what my desk looks like I have a nice blank canvas Number three is comfortable seating. So my chair is not one of those nice cushiony chairs. It's one of the hardwood ones. So this is a little seat cushion that I got from Walmart or my roommate from freshman year got from Walmart. And it has a nice sticky adhesive on the back. So when you put it on the chair, it doesn't slip as easily. And it's nice and cushioned. So now I'm going to demonstrate to you sitting down and not hurting your butt while you're sitting down on the chair. See, it's nice and comfy. Oh, by the way, I actually hit my knee on the desk, but I'm good. And we got the thumbs up approval. Number four is to elevate your laptop or computer. So my favorite way is to use a portable lap desk that I got from Walmart, I believe, uh, my freshman year. And it's just something easy to put your laptop on. So that way you're not looking down and straining your neck and then also, you know, straining your eyes in a way. But if you don't have a lap desk, that's okay. You actually can use books, which is probably more accessible to you using your textbooks, books in your room, books in the house, and just stack it up to a height where you're not looking down to see your computer see nice and easy and if you don't want to use books or don't have a lot of books to use you can also use a handy dandy shoe box because i'm sure we all have one in our closet that is just collecting dust so why not put that to good use and use it to help not strain your eyes 
And this is what not to do. You do not want to look down immediately to your desk. You want to make sure your neck is nice and neutral. Number five is organize your school supplies. So my favorite way right now, the way I chose to do was to get a bin or crate and I've had this for a while and I just put some necessities in there. So I get cold very easily. So put my blanket in the crate so I can have it nice and easy for me to grab when I do get cold. And then I have my headphones. So these are my wireless ones that I use to edit or if I just want like noise canceling headphones, I use that. And then my pencil pouch with all my pens and pencils and highlighters so whenever I'm taking notes. And then I have my chargers in my old fashioned and not airpods but earphones <laughs> and then the most important part is snacks so i only have one snack in my room for right now so i won't be eating everything in the house but it's cheez it's is the most important snack there is and i just put it in all in its bin and right next to my desk that way it's easily able to be accessed whenever i need the things now my next favorite thing that i used i got these book bins last year from Target in the dollar section area, but I think they ended up being like two or three dollars. But I thought it'd be a great way to put my textbooks in just so I can have it easily accessible. Again, everything is about easy access. Number six is the top three method. I got this method from my girl Erin On Demand. She's one of my favorite YouTubers at the moment. She's just incredible. And this is a great task management tip. So basically what you do is each day at the start of your day, you write down the top three things that you want to get accomplished for the day. So this could be anything from homework assignments to life assignments, um, just any extracurricular activities. These are things that are non-negotiables, like you have to get done. Usually the things that have a deadline or something that's gonna take a lot of time that you need to spend time on. And this is what my list looked like for the school day. And I got it done by the way, so yay. Number seven is the Pomodoro method. And I'm using this new app that I've been using for a while called Chipper. It's not sponsored by the way. I just want to share a new app that I'm using to organize and make sure I'm t staying on task with all my assignments. And as you can see, they're all in there and color coded, which is super convenient and nice. And so they have the study feature. As you guys can tell from my, my previous video, study with me video, I've been using a method called the Pomodoro method. And essentially you work for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break and you repeat that again. 25 minutes working, five minute break, and then you do that twice, two cycles, and then after your second cycle, you take a longer break, which is about 15 to 20 minutes. And this is really great, so that way you're working, but also give your brain a break to process the information that you're taking in. And number eight, my favorite tip of all, this is the fun part. Now that you've cleaned everything and you made a system for you to be productive and stay on task with all your assignments, it's time to decorate. So I just put in my oil diffuser and these are all my oils. These are the ones I got from Walmart, but I got this one that's like a shea butter one right there, the orange one. It's like mango shea butter. It smells delicious. And then I have my salt lamp just so I can have a nice glowing light. And then I added some books. So I have my bubble, of course. And then I have some other books, devotional books from and other regular books. And then I just added my lap desk on the side of my actual desk, that way I can get it out of sight and out of mind. And this is what the final product looks like, or actually I changed it. <laughs> okay, so I changed my desk setup because I just wasn't a big fan of the yellow little bins right here. So I just kind of stuck it by my bed and put my chargers in here. That's just for me. But for here, I what I did was instead of the yellow bins, I shifted everything down. So now I have my salt lamp, a little trinket, my black angel, my tape, sorry not tape, stapler tape, supplies that I'll be using, books just for there, um, oil to so my essential oil diffuser, and then my lamp. Then I have like my faith notebook for when I wanted to have quiet time or just want to journal something, and some glasses just for the cute look. But also, I accidentally stepped on them so i can't they, i can wear them but just not that it's comfortable <laughs> and then i shifted down here what was up here the yellow bins with the books i decided to put them down here just because there's extra space so i put my textbooks right here if you want to you can flip them on the other side so you can see what they look like but i kind of know what they are based on the cover and such then i still have my blanket and my other supplies here my pouch my headphones and then still my cheese dips and then I put my lap desk right here so whenever I'm not using it, I can just put it out of mind and out of sight.
friend, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Take care.